Hi, everyone. During the pandemic time, what's your new way of saying? Exhibition free online, opera free online, movie premiere free online, artists live online. So many resources we can only see in the first tier cities and need to pay high prices before. In the pandemic time, it begins to come to public life through technology. In the digital era, the number of visitors is no longer the only standard to judge these places' social influence. Online resources and innovative seeing ways have become new objectives. Watching online lacks the unsettling feeling, but provides more possibilities for producers and viewers. Today, we are in an era of rapid expansion of image production, circulation, and consumption. Movies, TVs, advertisements, packaging, illustrations, device, visual images cover our daily life. We have entered the era of visual culture. Thus, we post a question: The development of digital media brings diversity of visual. Cultural in the digital world, how images change their way to show to us. So we start our research from this question. The speed of digitization is amazing. From the first digital image in the nineteen seventy five to eight k resolution, we just used forty five years to make this leap in visual quality. Nowadays, with the popular of 3D post-production softwares, contemporary visual is floating between the reality and the visualization. The visual impact we receive every day makes us to pursue more perfect and more advanced image. When we observe the contemporary social culture, Hollywood has become the base camp, leading the production of perfect image. IMAX and high-tech production have become the selling points of films. HD advertising images attract consumers, stimulating the consumer society. The pursuit of high resolution has led to the rapid update of electronic products. Even in the game industry, players are so fanatical about realistic visual. Low-resolution games are obsolete. As a mainstream culture of society. High resolution has been admired all the time. It becomes an aesthetic standard and a commercial symbol. But there are some images that don't seem to be so lucky. When self-media bloggers make the quick film editing, it is regarded as a recreational attitude. Classic films are played by netizens, and the spoof was despised by media workers. Even in some serious occasions, public characters are subject to re-edit, and audiences do not seem to care whether that are presented in their originals or misunderstandings. These images are not so lucky; they are called tacky emojis, cursor video, bad images, vulgar images. They are re-edited, transmitted, compressed over and over. At the same time. We can't help but wonder why everyone watches them, transmits them, even creates them. But in the image world, they are rapidly being washed away without gaining any respect. Maybe they are more powerful than we expect. Let's see the amazing attention these images are getting on these free and classless video platforms. On this website, when you upload an image. The number of times it has been used on the web appears immediately, and you can even see it in multiple languages. You may not have seen this animation for years ago, but reinterpretations have made them instantly popular beyond Asia. Emojis become a kind of new language, open up effective ways of cross-cultural communication for different countries and classes. They replace the complicated dialogues and be interpreted differently during its circulation. Artworks are made into low-quality gifs, but they get strong communication power in return, gradually promoting the integration of art and contemporary pop culture. Perhaps when we look at images using frequency and range, we gain a new perspective. Poor image is an interesting tool. Brings the masses the absolute freedom in this well-regulated society. 
Hito style is a pioneer talking about poor image. In her essay, she thinks the poor image lost their resolution in exchange for transmitting power, and she challenges the high-resolution images. In the contemporary society, viral culture has become a tool for each class to publicize its ideology. They expand their social influence by using images which represent their social status. The thinker Bourdieu provides a new standard for us to think about class. Apart from social capital, we can distinguish people's social class by cultural capital. So these images, which exist in different occasions and used by different classes, in the digital world are also classified into their own ranks. Poor images definitely become the low-class culture. In our visual experiment. We invited our families and friends to share images they received and sent out in one day. We analyzed by high and low resolution, authoritative and liberal. We can say, high resolution and authoritative images are often commercials, films, photographs, and 3D works. Photos we shoot in daily life are more liberal. Low resolution and authoritative images are often re-edited images. Like movies and interviews, editing, emojis, kusu videos are very liberal. They are the low class in the image world. They are not authoritative and they have no chance to appear in formal situations, but they are omnipresent in our lives. In TikTok, YouTube, everyone can become the producer and transmitter of poor image. In this free creative environment. Whether it is a real reflection of our contemporary society, in the future of technology, only more and more perfect, more and more high-resolution images worthy of price.